um, as a kind of a context for the for the talk, uh, I thought I'd start off by showing you Arthur Kessler's. Arthur Kessler is a was a great novelist who, in the last years of his life, became a um, uh, psychologist re doing research in creativity at Stanford. And one of his uh, characterizations of creativity sort of goes as follows. He said that our minds are kind of constrained to think within contexts or within systems of belief. Sometimes they're called paradigms, but he was thinking of something perhaps larger, that we have a, a set of commonsensical things that we accept as reality and our thought patterns sort of jog along staying in this particular here a pink plane every once in a while we have little outlaw thoughts that are regarded as lies by the pink plane and they're usually just suppressed and pushed back and every once in a while when you're taking a shower or out jogging or something you are relaxed enough to let one of these outlaw thoughts flourish a little bit and sometimes what you find out is that that little pink idea when expanded into the blue context is much more interesting than it was in the pink context so the idea here is terrific ideas often hide behind good ones good ones are the ones that are this is like peer review at NSF uh, they always fund good research but they almost never fund great research because somebody is already uh, six people are trying to decide whether what you're trying to do is reasonable ahead of time and usually the way it works is you decide whether it was reasonable by looking what happened so and then Kessler said uh, and what happens when you get one of these big blue inspirations oh sorry did I well I goofed I left out a slide so I'll just tell you here he said there are three reactions if you're telling a joke then the reaction is ha ha if you're doing science then the reaction is aha and if you're doing art then the reaction is ah because <laughs> he points out in each of these cases for instance a joke is something that takes you down a garden path and then suddenly re reveals that the context you're in is not the one you thought you're in science has this uh, aspect as well you suddenly see it was there all the time and often besides saying aha you start laughing and of course in art the whole idea in art is to try and take you out of the world that you're in your commonplace world and reveal that there's more to the world and one of the maxims here is that uh, knowing more than your own field is really helpful in doing this and I've always thought that one of the reasons the 60s was so interesting is that nobody was a computer science scientist back then and everybody who came into it came into it with uh, lots of other knowledge and interests and then they tried to figure out what the comp what computers were and the only analogies the place they had to use for analogies were other areas and so we got some extremely interesting ideas from that uh, and of course the, the, the reason being educated is important is simply because you don't have any blue context if you don't have any other kinds of knowledge to think with uh, so engineering is probably is one of the hardest fields to be creative in just because it's all about optimizing and you don't optimize uh, uh, without being very firmly anchored to the context that you're in so what we're talking about here is something that is not about optimization but actually in kind of rotating the point of point of view 